Microsoft Visio is a not a cheap software and in addition you need a Windows to run it. So what is our alternative if you are on macOS or Chrome OS? I suggest using a very simple open source software called draw.io. What is great about this program is that you can add multiple different groups of shapes and you can turn it into the diagramming software you really need. So simply click start. Then you can decide about storage for your diagram. You can link it directly to your OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, or you can store it on the local computer. In that case, select device, create a new diagram, and you can start with a template. But if this is your first time using the program, I will actually suggest going for a blank diagram and figure out how we can kind of build it from scratch. Keep in mind there's also a brand new feature generate when you can describe the diagram and the program will try to kind of kick off your project using AI machine learning. But for now let's create a blank one. Create. You must save it on your drive because we select our machine as the destination. And here we are. The good news is the program is really simple to start with. You simply drag and drop shapes you need for your diagram. And then when you need to connect them with lines, hover your mouse until you see this green indicator and just pull the line out to build your diagrams. Of course, you can edit the style of everything using the style panel on the right. So I can decide how thick is the line. Do I need arrowheads? Take a look, there are so many different arrowheads. There are also uh, logical arrowheads here for uh, databases, cardinalities and all that stuff is here as well. So just select the one you need, select the type of the line you need. You can change the color of it as well. And here it is, this is the real diagramming software. So even you move the element, the line will follow. All right, but I'm guessing most of us will not use those silly string shapes. We need a certain professional shapes for our diagram. So in that case, you search for the group you need. If you cannot see the group here, you need to click plus more shapes and you can add more groups here. So let's say you are going for like very specific things like this Amazon cloud technologies. You can just add those shapes here. 2024, the newest one. I click on the checkbox, apply, and it will appear in my shape panel on the left. And now I can drag those icons and shapes and use the official one to make my diagram. I can also modify the backdrop. I can modify the grid, size of it, the color of it. You can switch it off completely. You can have page list or page view. This is very helpful if you plan to print out your document later. By the way, if you run out of page, the program automatically will add a page. But keep in mind, you need to print this out nicely later. So avoid placing your icons, important parts of your diagrams on this dashed line. This dashed line indicating a next page. All right, we can modify text. You've got some arrangement tools to move stuff in the layers up and down, add some rotations, all of that. There's a basic table tool built in as well over here. All right, so as you can see, this software is really capable and the best part is it's open source. So you don't need to pay anything to try it. You can try it straight away, play with it for a few days and maybe that's enough for you. You don't need to invest in any expensive diagramming software, all right? So try this out, draw.io, a great alternative to Microsoft Visio and other similar premium software. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.